Hi everybody. I'm doing a five minute mini session for Johannes. I'm, I'm traveling. So I'm doing this on my cell phone here. And uh, in this session, we're going to be expanding on, um, an exploration that we had done previously, uh, exploring relationship with the spirit guide and spirit guides and higher self. So we're going to be going a little bit deeper here and working on enhancing that connection. So I'll put a link in the description to that previous session. Um, but I'm going to relax now and we're going to, we're going to see a little bit more on this subject. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You were talking to Johannes um, in your goals about the hallway that I saw. <sighs> Let me see what they have to say about this, or maybe we can move on from that to something new. <sighs> Let's just see. <sighs> this is really uh, not what I expected in the beginning, but my nose it feels like it. Uh, it's like it turned into a tiny little like rock and it's a pinkish color and it's a square shape, but, um, it's just like a hard button or something. Um, so my whole nose is just this tiny little thing. Um, and my throat feels really tight and I feel kind of sewn into a ball, like curled up, like stitched into a ball. And I, I say, what in the world does this have to do with um, spirit guides and higher self? I feel Johannes is a little more connected than this. <laughs> so they're just, just wait, I guess. <laughs> Let's just keep rolling and see where this takes us. This is different. So I'm starting to feel a sadness, like, um, like I lack tools, like I lack, I'm making changes and they're not, they show me, okay, they show me when it comes to the stitched into this ball, um, it's like you are actually trying to dive inside of yourself, um, in order to access them, which everything that is out there, all your spirit guides and higher self Everything literally in the human world, in every dimension, alien world, spirit realms, heaven, everything is already inside your heart. So you're trying to like roll into a ball, like to dive inside of yourself. And there's something about this strange button nose. It's like making a change that wasn't quite effective or didn't work the way you wanted it to. But let, let me just keep watching here. I feel sadness though. I feel like a lingering sadness. This has to do with um, that hallway as well. It has to do with what I had originally seen. <sighs> I'm going to have to keep going down this rabbit hole. It's sad. <sighs> I feel sad. And I say, sp connecting with your spirit guides and higher self is a joyful experience. So why, what is, where is the sadness coming from? Oh, you have this like beautiful safe space. It's just a tiny little nook. Like any kid, if they found this little nook, it's like hiding in a cupboard or something. It's like, it's perfect little hiding place. It feels like super good. It's tiny little nook. It's quiet and peaceful and it's safe for you. And once you go in there, it's like, there's something childlike about it, like the Indian in the cupboard or something special. And so you go into the cupboard and then the spirit guide comes and opens the door to you. But there's a lot of sadness that you still carry. You should be going up instead of down to access your spirit guides. In this scene, they want to show you this. Do you miss them a lot? You're trying to find your way back to love and it's a hard journey at times. It's confusing, especially in a human world. I feel like you miss them a lot, so there's some sadness here. Your spirit guides are not sad. <laughs> I 
And ask your higher self, why are you choosing this? Because in the end, Johannes, you are your higher self and your higher self is you. Your higher self is guiding this whole thing. And it's okay. It's like, um, so, so, so part of it is it's okay to have feelings and it's okay to explore where those feelings take you and, um, and how those feelings reach love and guidance and support, but how you could reach love and guidance and support through different avenues of emotion. There's so much behind this and I'm not even like skimming the surface and all the reasons why. These are very basic preschool level reasons why. I show you this scene and I say, let's break this down and be done with it. Because you don't need to hold on to this anymore unless you do. This is another part of connection. They're wanting this to be revealed so that it, it, it can be explored at the conscious level and a decision made or the development of an understanding, right? Because sometimes we learn things and we need time to process or explore what that means and then decide how, what we want to do about that or if there is anything else to do about that. Maybe we just want to stay in this way for a little while. I'm showing you a different vibration, a different frequency. It's kind of like an attunement, okay? It's frequency that is going to make this f feel very uncomfortable. They're showing me this path. This is one of the pathways you take to connect with your spirit guides, believe it or not. It's just one, okay? There's many pathways, but this one has got to be seen by you. And so I'm creating a frequency that could be that would be very jarring to this one because there is a coziness and a delightfulness in this little cupboard and it feels like happiness, but it's kind of sad in this, at the same time. It's, there's a sadness. Like I see a sad, I see this is very sad to me. Um, it feels that way. Okay. And so the frequency is not as, is, is creating joy without the sadness. It's like the, the cozy, delightful feeling but not the dark, um, hiding myself away, feeling sad and meek, um, does not have to be combined with the joy. So it could just be joyful. It could just be fun. It could be exciting. And it feels uncomfortable. It feels awful because the joy has been intertwined with whatever the sorrow is coming from. It's like, a, I need to feel a cozy little escape. I need to feel this, but you don't. But something inside you says, I want to. So now you're exploring your emotions and being human, which is perfect. You're big enough though. You're ready to change. You actually come out of this cupboard, not a boy, but a man. And there's electrical vibe in the air, the frequency that I'm showing you. And you show me that if you walk into it, you'll be basically fried, like electrocuted um, into nothing. <sighs> but I just say that that's your fear because this is a pure love. And your spirit guides are smiling and they show many, many, many lightning bolt strikes. And they're all waiting for you. And it's excitement. It's uh, rehabilitation. It's um, it sparking your heart, right? Igniting your heart energy. It's bringing you back to life. It's um, live wire energy. Has nothing to do with a cabinet hiding, you know, the secret cabinet. It's like... Everything to do with exposure and stepping into being, um, kickstart my heart, you know, like awaken me. It's, it's like a heart that stops. That's got to be juiced back into beating again in a new way. And they want you to see this because you're ready. It's like you're ready to connect with your spirit guides and higher self in a new way. 
And you are too. That's why you're requesting this. You you also feel this inside yourself, a movement. You're wanting to understand more about your connection, but you're really wanting to know this and to see this and to understand this and to experience that it is now a time for new, something new. And it works with pure electrifying energy and joy and excitement, not, you know, the cozy little hidden nook my secret place where it's dark and quiet and tiny and the only people that know about it are my spirit guides and higher self. <laughs> you see the difference? You see the difference here? <sighs> yeah, you're really close to a big change. I can feel the energy of you and these lightning bolts um, and it's raising like the hairs on your arms. Like I, I can feel the frequency is quite loud and these lightning bolts, but you're getting very close to it. It's almost zapping, like you're going to get zapped like a bug. But it's not. It's, it's, it's bringing you to life. It's new, new frequencies, new connections. And it's really exciting, <laughs> really, really exciting. Okay, that's it. I can't tell you anymore. All right. Thank you very much, Johannes. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.